In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the spark plugs on the Subaru Forester. Located on the side of your engine, let's get started. So the procedure is in theory the same for all of these, however you're going to have to get to all of these spark plugs slightly differently just because of everything that's in the way on the side. We'll start here so you can see all the details and then I'll show you exactly how I get to the other ones and what tools I will use. Most likely it'll be a combination of short little extensions and uh, some different ratchets just to get the spark plugs out and back in. Let's remove the spark plug wire that sits right over the spark plug. Pull on it. Sometimes if you can't pull it off by hand, you could use some pliers to gently pry on it. These are flexible, so you can bend them as you take them out. I'm gonna set this one aside so we can remove the spark plug now. Let's drop in a spark plug socket. This will be a 5 8 socket or 16 millimeter. I'm going to put an extension on it before I fully insert the spark plug socket in there. And then on the end of this, since you don't have much space with the air box in the way, I'm gonna put a ratchet on it. If you have a longer extension that you can put in there, well, go for it. But this is where I'm going to stop with the extensions because keep in mind the spark plug will come out and uh, basically lengthen or shorten your available distance. I have this short ratchet that's gonna come in very handy for this. Just going to unthread the spark plug and might have to remove one of my extensions or maybe not. Just make sure you don't jam up your tool into the air box here. Once you have it unthreaded, pull it out. Sometimes these spark plugs don't really want to stick to the spark plug socket, and uh, especially if the engine is a little bit warm. So I'm going to try to pull it out with a magnet. There it is. Take the new spark plug and put it in the spark plug socket. This helps so that it doesn't fall down. As you try to insert it into the spark plug hole, slide it down slowly, reattach that extension. And let's drop it down, start it in by hand. You want to make sure that this does not cross thread and it goes on smoothly. If you feel that the threads are not going on smoothly, most likely it is cross-threading and you're going to want to pull it out and well, try it again. I'm going to go until this is bottomed out by hand, then I'll snug it up with a ratchet and then of course we'll torque them down. That's as far as I'll go by hand. All right, that's snugged up. Let's tighten these down. The torque is 15 foot pounds. However, I am unable to get any torque wrench down in here. But these spark plugs with the little washer at the base of the threads that crushes, you want to tighten between half and two thirds of a turn in order to fully seat them. So that's what we're going for. Just kind of eyeballing it. This would be half a turn right here. And I'll just give it a little bit extra. That should be about half to two thirds and it is nice and tight. So I'm going to stop right there. Once again, if you can torque it, 15 foot pounds. On the end of the spark plug wire, I like to put just a little bit of silicone paste just on the edges. This is going to prevent the spark plug from getting stuck on the wire and will make it so that it seals up nice. Now put the spark plug wire back into its spark plug hole and when you press it on, Press it on nice and tight. Make sure it kind of locks in there. There we go. You should feel kind of like a soft click at the end. And pulling on it gently, it should not want to pop out. So this one's done. Let's continue on with the rest. Moving on to the rear on the passenger side, we have the spark plug wire right here. Pop this off and you're going to have to bend it up and out of the way as you remove it, kind of around the air box. Just like that. Pull it out of your way. Now let's get our spark plug socket down in here. Slide it in. We're gonna have to kind of stick it in 
this way and then add an extension on top of that. This will get us right where we need to be. And then of course our ratchet, let's break this free and remove it. Now take your ratchet off and finish removing the spark plug with just the extensions. separate our extensions on the way out here. I'm going to have to grab a magnet to fish the other ones out. Okay, take this out. Looks like my spark plug did not stick to my socket again, so I'll just fish it out with a magnet. All right, there it is. Take your new spark plug, and unfortunately because of the air box being in the way, I have to very slowly drop this one in without my spark plug socket, but I'm going to guide it with my finger all the way down. Plus these being at an angle, they're really not gonna slide down too fast anyway. And then put the spark plug socket on. And then we're gonna have to add that other extension. And with this on, Let's start threading everything in. The spark plug socket, I felt its seat on the spark plug, so that's perfect. And just turning this slowly, you should feel the spark plug threads engaging into the head. If it's not going smoothly, you're gonna wanna back it off and try again, because you don't wanna cross thread it. This is bottomed out by hand, pretty much as much as I'll be able to go, so let's snug it up. That just bottomed out with the crush washer. So once again, between half and two thirds of a turn, here we go. That's a quarter. That's half. So right now, just a little extra. That should be plenty tight. So now let's take our tool out. Okay, there we go. I already have some silicone paste, just like the previous one on the spark plug wire. So I'm gonna stick it right down into the tube. I'm gonna have to kind of bend it into position. Just like that. And once again, press it down until it clicks. All right, I felt the click. It's locked in, if I pull on it, it's not gonna pop out. And there you go. Those two are done. Now we're on the driver's side, so we're gonna work here, starting with the front cylinder. That's right here, where the spark plug wire goes down. This one is, well, a little bit more difficult to reach just because the battery and washer tank are in the way, but still doable. Grab onto the spark plug wire, pull out, and remove it from the cylinder. And there it is, set it aside. Now take your spark plug socket, drop it right in. I have a little extension already attached to it. But basically it's gonna be the same story as before. We're gonna put that in and then put another extension in. And if you have a short ratchet, that always helps with these. So break it free and unthread it the rest of the way. There we go, that's loosening up a little bit. Take the extension out. And there's the spark plug. Now let's grab the new spark plug, put it in the spark plug socket so it doesn't fall down if you can, and slide it in all the way. We'll add our second extension. and start threading this in, nice and gently by hand, making sure it goes on smoothly. That's bottomed out, so let's give it that half to two thirds of a turn, unless you can fit a torque wrench in here. That one's tight. I'm gonna take my tools out of here. Put 
Put a little bit of silicone paste on the end of it and let's slide it onto the spark plug. Putting the spark plug wire back onto the spark plug, slide it down, press it on, and I just felt that click, it locked in. Perfect. All right, here we go on to the last one. Reach right behind the one we just removed, pull on the spark plug wire, remove it. And we'll grab the spark plug socket, drop it down. The other little extension, drop that down in, lock them together. And let's break that free and remove it. All right, get your tool out of here. And fish out the spark plug. And there's the last one. Take the new spark plug and very slowly slide it down in, unless you can fit your whole socket and extension in here. Get the socket in with one extension, get that seated, and the other extension, and just try to get this threaded in by hand once again. Here we go with that half to two thirds of a turn. Should be plenty right there. Let's get our tool out. A little bit of silicone paste on here. All right, now grab the spark plug wire and slide it back into the cylinder. Press it on till it clicks. be difficult since you have limited space. All right, there we go. Yep, that's locked in. Perfect. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.